Hey guys, it's me Luis. So today we have this one as a 2017 Maxima SL. So we're gonna replace the, uh, the roof glass. So remember, this kind of job is really, really hard and it's a lot of time and it's good money. So just you have to do the right thing. Now remember, if you're working on this kind of roof glass, remember if you install, if this glass is installed in the wrong way, that like no with the temperature, no, about temperature is not a big deal. But the problem is the time you let the chemical set, like talking about activators and primers. Because if this glass is not set on the right way, when this car has an accident and the, uh, the glass, I mean, the car has an accident, all the energy is transferred to the car to absorbing, you know, the energy in a wreck. This one is gonna come out or just pop and all the, the car is gonna be smashed. So just careful when you're working on this one. Now, this one I have to replace, well, I'm gonna use it, I mean, I have to save this one and I have to say my back glass, that's not a problem, but the windshield is more deal because we don't have to break it. It's really close to this, just carefully. So now I'm gonna pull this one off. I'm gonna use my crane. You already saw that one in my other videos. This is my little body. This helped me a lot when I have these jobs, okay? This can, um, these jobs can be done by maybe uh, three people or two people. They can hold it, but it's, it's a little heavy. So especially when you have to go on top of the car and just let it down now when i use the crane or the lifter is because when my glass said the glue is going to be like this but when you're working with somebody else you know it's difficult to control and sometimes they can touch the glue or may, uh, mess the glue over here over here and you gotta go down it's gonna be no straight when you set the glass so that's why i'm using my crane today okay so i'm gonna use the pro set to the back glass this is the first time i'm gonna uh, set the back glass with the pro set now remember the back glass, the problem is they gotta go inside. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the, the trunk and I'm gonna slide in with the trunk open. You would see that one because this one cannot make the turn because it's gonna be under here. Okay, what else? Okay, we're gonna work. And this one, we're gonna use the Pro 6. And on this one, we're gonna use the Mongoose. Okay, right there. So now, if you're doing this job, I recommend it, pull the glasses first and after that you can just pull the interior like the headliner but the guys here they pull the interior first and now my problem is going to be inside holding the headliner and start making the cut and after i get this one off i have to get the headliner out of here and it's when i have more room because i have a big nut probably uh 20 or 21 i don't remember the size but it's for the antenna right there and the bolts you know under the 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 the, the frame so let's start working here. Let me, it's a little difficult in this area. It's not really cold, but they left the door open. So this place is cold now. Not too much because we have some heaters over here, but I don't think they're working now. So, but the temperature is better than outside. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with my Pro 6. Sorry if you don't see it too much because it's gonna be a little difficult. Okay. Ah. Just careful he maybe I'm gonna hit the camera a couple of times just sorry about that I'm gonna hold my head there you go I love the pro seats because it's really nice when it's making the cut now they removed the pillar size, but you see my line is very close to the edge, so that's why when I have to make my turn, because if not my line is gonna be really, really close and it's gonna break because it's like a sharp point, especially this kind of pitch wheel. Now my problem here is gonna be the headliner, but not too much. I'm gonna hold probably right there. I don't know what's wrong with the with the glass, but they're gonna replace it. But the roof glass, I mean. You see at this point my line is really is more far from the pitch wheel. So I don't have even protect anything. Oh my god. Let me check it out because remember I have a gravity shot. Right there. Alright. I'm working it slow here because it's very tight. And there's not, not much light on this, this shop. This is the old shop that these guys have, and they have another one, but it's bigger, but they don't have any room over there. 
right? Remember, we're gonna protect, guide my uh, my uh, line because I got this gravity stuff. There's the big ones for the for, for Nissan. They make big ones, the same like Lexus. I'm very fast. There you go. You saw that one? It's already broke right there. Right there. Little turn. Just to make my drill free. Sorry guys, but this position is not really comfortable. Sorry, I didn't put any protector because in my last job, unfortunately, I forget. Uh, so let me put my lock here. So I need to buy one because one, I lost it. I left in another dealership. And the other one, I think I did the same. Those kind of, the, uh, and probably I did that one in the last shop I did the job inside. Because I removed the, my, you know, my covers and I put something in the tools like that, the toolbox, and I think I forget to pick it up. I'm both at the same time. So I have to go and get it or buy any ones. But I'm pretty sure I have to buy a new ones because when I back to my stuff, they say, no, we don't see anything. So, you know. Okay, let's, let's go look at this one. All right, now I'm gonna make this one. Now, I'm gonna make the cut over here. There you go. There you go, I got two lights now. And the last cut. That's why I love my Pro 6 because they always help me with these cuts. To me, it's very nice. I love all my systems, but this one I like. I remember, I'm gonna just help, and I don't see anything behind this one, but I'm pretty sure I'm here. There's a sharp. There you go. Okay, so we cut this one. Now let's go with the with the back glass. And I have to pull my stands because I don't have anything outside now. Alright. Now here is gonna be more difficult because they removed the seats. So I'm, I'm gonna be actually on my knees. So that's hard, especially with that kind uh, of design on this basis over here. You see, it's too much bolts and holes and they, they hurt your knees very bad. Uh, okay, so let's work here. Um, it's gonna be difficult too. I'm gonna go a little more higher on this one. I gotta replace this one. Uh, Okay, so we're gonna start making these cuts right here. Uh, this is very tight. <sighs> all right. Careful with your uh, defroster of it, disconnect all the plugs, but carefully. Slowly. Careful here. Alright, 
and now remember it's going to make the turn just careful there I don't see anything here. There you go. I hope you can see that. It's going to pass the stop now. You see? Pass the stop even without brake. So we're going to reduce that one. Okay. Now it's going to change the position. This one. This is hey. careful when the interior remember this kind of interior is really easy sorry i got the camera okay let me cut the video here and set the system because with the camera and the headliner down it's difficult see you next shot okay guys i already said this one sorry about that it's just difficult with this headliner on my head so let's make the cut now let me just get this position I'm gonna go slow because what I wanna do is save those gravity stops on this one. Because the back glasses sometimes you lose the position. I don't like so I wanna use this one. Let me just make sure I'm not gonna break it. You see it's right there. We're gonna go through now. Let me see if I can go down. There you go. There you go. Now it's gonna make the best of cut. You see, that's why you have to protect your uh, interior because when they, something hit it, you can make marks or something, okay? There you go. Let me go out of here. Okay guys, let me make a cut. I'm gonna get my stance and see you in the next shot. Okay guys, so the one she's already cut out. So let me remove this tape because I put this one just to make my line stay inside. Okay, the molding I have to use a Marcy or you know, Triple G or any kind of brand. You, you had all those clips hooks go inside you have to take them off don't leave anything inside okay so you see no damage so we pull the glass without break now what i like on this in this kind of job is because remember i'm going to use my uh, razor blade and just scrub, clean all the urethane okay so under this one is still you're gonna have some urethane on the glass that's good because remember you cannot use primer again so we're gonna use activator an activator there all the activators so practically we're gonna use the activator and all the urethane we left okay so we don't have to worry about to through primer that's only since in the body shop and they replace the whole roof you have to use the you know the metal you have to use they cannot paint it you have to get these areas with no paint and use the activator and twice uh, two coats of uh, primer okay let's go with the back glass uh -huh. okay. remember the back glass doesn't have any molding it's exposed edge complete 
so I don't have to worry about this one the molding just this one all right um, the same thing I'm gonna do remember is just clean the glue and the urethane left on the glass if you pass your razor blade and there's nothing coming off more you already had the bonding on the glass it's, it's the same like I use in encapsulate glass now so I'm gonna use your activator and that's it let me remove my hex here three one more two more over here so remember don't leave any of this one inside or they can go inside the areas for the drains or in the worst cases this one doesn't have the bends but some bends are there here and the things can go in and they just mess the AC, the air condition. Okay, guys. Well, this area is done. Now we're gonna start working on the roof glass. The reason I have to take the glasses is because my access to the area is under here. It's more easy. Just make the cut under this area. And in this area, the same thing is more easy because you try to go from, you know, from inside talking about this area you see there's no way you can avoid this area so it's really difficult so that's why you have to go outside and remove the whole glasses okay so I'm gonna get this one I have to tape all the areas because I don't want to scratch anything so let me put the tapes on get my tools probably because it's a little colder so I'm not gonna use when it's summertime I use my blades manual but I think today is cold so I'm gonna use this tractor just to open this area and this rest I'm gonna use my cut knife if not, I have to use a wire, but I'll show you this after my cut over here, okay? See you next time. Okay, guys, so I'm ready to remove uh, my headliner. Remember, really careful when you remove the headliner because this one can be damaged easy. You make marks, that's it, it's gone. You have to be placed for a new one. So when I pull the headliner, remember, it's sliding, put the seats down on this way to the front, sliding out, holding it, no in the middle because they can just bend it. Just point your hands in one here, and one in the middle and you can just lift that one out of the car and just lay down like this okay no damage was on this headliner so that's good so now remember i have my steel ring over here you can use a uh, ambush 360 whatever you have but remember every time we use power it's out of control so they can just be in deep really deep you can go scratch so really careful i'm going to show you what i do uh, uh when i use in the structures even on the bottom i don't use too much because i have some problems with my hands when i use in the power tools i use a lot before and then i use the the anti-vibration gloves so now i have a problem with that so just carefully i'm not using anymore that's why you can see and all my jobs using a cord or something else but no distractors but i'm gonna use today because it's cold so i'm gonna leave this one here i'm gonna cut a little bit because i need to get the room to go inside because it's gonna be a little difficult bend this one now i'm gonna put a piece of tape just to make sure what's my distance between here and here and that's it i'm gonna cut just here over there i have to remove um, this one because under here is a frame this is just with clips you can see the um, the bolts on here but also have a clips so you gotta remove that one okay i'm just crossing my fingers the new glass coming with everything the sonatas uh, santa Fe, all the cars coming with everything together but sometimes they, when these guys, these guys order the, 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 the roof glass, they come in with just the frame, but you have to reuse this one. So I wanna make sure they're coming with everything. So I'm gonna remove the nut. Remember for the antenna, it's 22, the, the sides of the, nut, of the socket. So this one right here, let me get my light. So we're gonna remove this one right here. Remember this kind of nut has a, a, a cut, I want to say a cut because this is the channel to the wire for the antenna. There you go, you see? So you cannot find anything like this, so don't lose it or you don't have anything to imitate that one. So on this point, you see, my antenna has to go in here, but it's going to be, you hear that? So that's when the antenna is losing. And you see those kind of clips right there? You gotta push, uh, you gotta use any hood hook or little screwdriver, put it, push it from inside, and you can release it, or you can use your fingers in this case. You see? There you go. Ah. So sometimes the sonatas, 
of the Genesis when you have to replace just because remember the Sonata so Genesis has part of this glass only so you have to take this one off it's a lot of work because you have to go under the headliner there you go um we have the antenna right there okay so I'm gonna get my stuff ready and I'm gonna start make the cut and see you next shot remember I'm gonna use uh, usually when it's summer it's really hot weather I use uh, just the wall okay but today I'm gonna use that this product is uh, the dealers use a lot it's no soap it's a uh, anti-grease product but I have to use it because if I use water with this coal my blade is gonna go just it's gonna trap my blade when you start cutting it's gonna go inside and it's really hard so I cannot have the control in, in the, that machine right there so I'm gonna use a little lubricant just to make the blade go free I'm gonna use my wind bags because that one is gonna make me help me with the release the pressure on the on the frame okay okay see you next shot I'm gonna start making this cut and see you next because my camera doesn't have too much recorder so I cannot put everything so I'm gonna make the cut on this one the back um, see if I can just record everything okay see you next shot guys okay so what I'm doing now is remove those little bolts right here okay because these ones it's only holding this part but you see the vest is going to be clips all the way here so you don't have nothing else on this area so it's going to be just the clips but today it's cold so crossing my fingers it's not going to break because i'm not sure these guys have ordered the new ones so i'm going to use plastics today oh yes. let me see where i leave the big one there you go all right so let's make this possible today all right so i'm gonna start making open it in these areas remember sliding the problem today you see this kind of clips they're gonna be on laminate because the problem is too cold you see this one but the only thing is this one's come like a catching the the, the, the um what i want to say the goal is don't break this kind of clips right here they can be attached under the molding okay just careful with this one that one is good because it's not breaking so let's gonna remove this one there you go it pop one is going in go. come on come on this kind of clips is the same like the uh, the, the explorer for the four let me show you which ones are you know this one is nice because it's not breaking this one is nice too. Uh, this clip, you see it? This is the only problem with too cold with these ones. They're gonna break. So, but it's no big deal because I'm pretty sure they have to order this one. If they don't have it, I can install just the frame and they can order it and just replace it because that's what has to come in with everything up. But sometimes they all they can be replaced. You can order this one, you have a damage. So that's why. But I'm pretty sure they order it. If not, they have to order it too. Okay guys, so I'm gonna remove the other one and see you in the next shot because my video is too short today it's too much job uh, uh, work and i don't think i can record everything okay see you next shot guys okay guys so i already make the cut on the front on the back so what i did with my extractor is just cut all the way in with this blade for the equalizer that's a very really thin but really long so i cut almost over here and i cut all the front all the back this is the mark for the bolts remember you got a like one two three four bolts Two, two 10 millimeters in the middle there's like a bracket just holding the frame and the guide over here is pin like this big is the guide for the for the glass for the i mean for the frame so what i do now is open it with my stick like this insert my wind back and now i'm going to start pumping and what i do is rise right there no more because it's going to break when there's the glass so just carefully just careful right there and i'm going to just lift this one you can see the glass lifting there you go okay so now what i'm doing i'm going to pass my cold knife over here and making the cut okay so remember this one's go to the tries don't worry you bend it not too much of course but opening like this is already deforming the frame but it's going to be replaced for a new one so i'm going to put my cold knife going in this direction okay like this and making the cut like that so every time you cut in you pump in if now you have to retract in and run another size it's going to be the same process 
I gotta change my glove. This is not a safe because you can cut your hand. So just careful and just put in the example. You see? Okay, so I'm gonna make the cut in that direction and start pumping, okay? So I'm gonna cut the video here because I don't have too much AC car. So see you in the next shot, guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna make the cut on this area. Now this part is more difficult always because they have the design with the sunroof, so it's really deep, so difficult. So I'm gonna use the wire now. So I open from, from here, I mean this area from here is fine, but after that it's really tight. So what you're gonna do is run your wire. I'm just gonna get a ball right there. And let me get the light here. Okay, so we're gonna run the line over here. Under here, because remember you have this part of the frame, I'm gonna pull the wind all the way this direction just to make the finish the cut, okay? So, it's really easy, just you gotta be patient and work it slow, okay? So, I'm on this side, remember, make sure you don't catch any wire, any line, so that's safe. And now, we're gonna just pull, cut a little bit. Even you can cut all the way that way, but it's more easy when you make cut half of this one and the rest with the wire because you run the wire over there you gotta go like this and of course the angle is a little more difficult so there you go so you see at this point I go through all this area I make sure my lines everything is safe except uh, you know remember the harness so just carefully a little more, one more cut. There you go. Let me pass all the way through. There you go. Okay. So at this point, we have half of the frame. Lose it on my finger. This is heavy, guys. Okay, so we got half of this one. It's loose. Now we're gonna run this wire through all the way that way. And we're gonna make the cut, okay? So now, if I don't want to take uh, cut my wire and reattach to the handle, I'm gonna go in that direction or this direction. It's up to you. And just cut half, come back over here, and just make finish the cut, okay? So see you in the next shot, guys. Okay, so we follow making the cut. Remember, just careful when interior. Now, if you're feeling something like a metal. Just careful because this kind of metal right here, when they bend it, when they make the form for the frame, it's like a little dots. They're gonna make the stop of the the frame don't go all the way down, and that's when you stop your blades. It can be the cut knife, it can be the wire. You know, just careful. All right, I almost in the middle, so let me make sure I don't catch any bracket. Yeah, you see, still I got this part of the room, so I can just go under here, so it's not a big deal. All right, let me just get a better position over here. There you go. You can go slow. Right there. Just follow the sounds. You, you feel on your wire, or you hear the noise, is because you see, I already catch in the middle. So I have to go all the way here. Just pushing down over here. Let me just, sorry, let me just lift this one more because we have more room. There you go. So you can lift that one, you see you got more room over here, so. Okay, your line, there you go. And this part really easy, so we're almost done. Okay, in this case, I can just go on this direction. It's gonna be more comfortable than go through the window here. This is my crane, I got sport. You see, the frame is coming off because we put in pressure with the wind back, so. It's making this one more easy. And we do it here. Let's 
careful because you I'm touching the metal I don't want to break my line there you go and here So now remember, they request me to re uh, replace the roof, but sometimes they have to replace, transfer these glasses to the other one, but nobody told me that. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be the day. Because the problem is, um, sometimes you see this kind of molding is attached with the glue together. So sometimes it's very difficult to save. So that's what I'm saying. I don't have any, uh, nobody told me about to save these glasses. And let's see, okay? And this way, you frame it up. All right, guys, so let's put it back on place. Because I'm gonna leave with the crane. Okay, guys, so we're gonna leave this one. So we already set the weights over here. And let me see if I can find something. I'm gonna use this trash can. Cause usually I set that one on my stand. That is busy now. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this one. So it's loosened already. Remember, I need more weight. Like I need my sunroof. So I'm gonna put another five. <clears throat> and that's enough. Just careful with these connections right there. There you go. Another one over here. There. Okay, now let's take this one off. Remember, it's gonna change the weight because I'm gonna use urethane. But the urethane is gonna be on the body. Okay, safe now. So now as you see, this is what the car looks, nothing. And so that's what's very important when you say this kind of uh, roof glasses, really careful because if you don't attach this urethane in the right way, the energy is transferred when the, the car is in a ball in a wreck. It's gonna just distribute the energy. If they don't have the roof in the right way, it's gonna just smash. It's like a frame, you know, when you don't have anything on, on a frame. Do you see how thick is the glue? That's why it cost me a lot of time, you see here? It's really thick, especially on these areas. Okay, all right guys, so I'm gonna clean all the bees. I'm gonna clear the glasses. Uh, I gotta go to the parts to bring the, the roof glass, and I'm gonna activate all the frames, the glasses, and come back in probably 25 minutes because it's cold. So I'm gonna wait probably 30 minutes just to let it dry, and see you in the next shot. See you next, guys. <laughs> 